online and broadcast on the radio. He always tells the truth. Listen to Alex and his guests. These people are trying to help America. You can watch Alex Jones at Infowars.com or you can see him on YouTube. Getting- yeah, no, absolutely. I want to see the target she's shooting, but but expanding on that, uh, Rob. Again, that's the perfect type of group where they could just her and her boyfriend that shot that and produced that, where they could be correspondents in Florida. I know he also works for one of the sportsman channels. He was telling us totally, but but I mean, we need but but we need correspondents. The thing is, we need to raise the funds. We're going to actually pay them something. Yeah. But but again, we're looking for two reporters in house, but also stuff like that. Perfect to have a gun review. Uh, or something like that, where we can have people in other states that follow the reports. Great job to you guys. Very exciting. Another wonderful submission. Third hour coming up. Thank you so much, Rob Dew. We'll have more tomorrow. Oh, yeah. We got hundreds of these. That's a nice sampling of them. And they're just rolling in. I'm Alex Jones of InfoWars.com. Hardcore news coming up. Hour number three. We're into our number three here. I've got to be disciplined. We'll take 30 minutes of uh, calls here, and then I'll get into the big news. And there's a lot of it. The news I haven't covered yet and the breaking news. Right now, let's go to Carl in Oregon. Thanks for holding Carl. Hey, what up, dude? Hey, man. How you doing? What do you think of those uh, submissions to the InfoWars contest? Uh, Pretty cool, dude. I got to get me one of those. <laughs> one of those machine guns? Yeah. Machine gun girl, uh, yeah. She's uh, number one on my list. I, I put her in uh, top of the running if it was me. Well, I think what we're going to do is we're going to take some of the finalists, if we can get our little cheap poll system on InfoWars to work right. Because usually we get like 30,000 votes in two days. Now it's like 1,000, so something's wrong with it. But we're about to get a new polling system, and so we can have like five videos at a time. And then I can say, okay, who do you vote for out of this group of five? And then I'll kind of let that narrow it down, and then I'll pick. Uh, I mean, because we've got hundreds of these videos. I don't know what we're going to do. Awesome, dude. Famous quote. I'm as mad as hell, and I'm not going to take this anymore. Howard Beale, Network, 1976. Awesome. Yeah, I had a, a, a question and uh, about um, Kevin Trudeau, the, the, the guy that you had on about two and a half years ago. I, I paid for a book. I sent a check in to get his natural cures that the government doesn't want you to know. I never got it, and I never even got my check back. Do you know how he's doing these days, and is it possible I can get that book? Yeah, I'm sorry. When we have guests on sometimes and they plug something, I can't be responsible for what's happening. I know he's had a lot of troubles with the government and all sorts of other stuff, uh, and I had him on just because I knew the government was trying to shut him down as a guest. Uh, a few times, but I uh, I don't really know uh, Kevin very well, so I'm sorry to hear that that happened to you, sir. Yeah, uh, so I've been trying to recover since that point, but now I'm trying to call to get the Longevity products. Can you go ahead and fire out the correct number for me to call so I can order the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and uh, be Pollen Burst and yeah. Rebound? Yes, sir. Guys, we put InfoWarsTeam.com up on screen. I meant to plug that in the last two hours, and look at the difference. I've lost 40-plus pounds, and it's not even meant to be a weight loss. But we heard Ben Fuchs, pharmacist Ben Fuchs and others, about a year ago. I was already promoting because I knew it was really good, and Ted had had a big response with it, uh, with several of the products. He took their joint care stuff, and it really helped. He was going to have to have surgery on his knee. Uh, and so Aaron got on it and has now lost 90-plus pounds. In fact, I've told him, okay, now it's time to stop just because I eat the tangy tangerine, pollen burst, rebound and stuff. You know, it, It's just a liquid drink. It makes you drink more water and stuff like that. And uh, if you go to the uh, website, InfoWarsTeam.com, you can get uh, big discounts on all of it there on the site. You can sign up and become a distributor and get discounts. You can sign up for the auto ship and qualify for that and get free shipping. The number is 877-551-1301, 877-551-1301. And that's InfoWarsTeam.com. It's also a business opportunity if you want to become a distributor. And we're fo- formed up phone teams and, and uh, people that are part of that to answer the questions. My dad, like a year ago, was like, yeah, I write another vitamin. And then she, he saw my mom get on it and have all these great responses, but just beyond Tangy Tangerine. Now, he's doing it, totally sold on it. He's a dentist, and he's out there promoting it. 
So again, InfoWarsTeam.com. Uh, try it and become a believer. Um, all, all I know is I take Beyond Tangy Tangerine at least four times a day. They say take it twice a day, four scoops, two scoops per serving. I do like one scoop four times a day. That's the you know daily allowance they recommend. And because I don't like it that strong, and it, and I end up drinking more water. It's just it's, it's just good all around. The rebounds great when I want to really work out hard. Some days I work out twice now, uh, and then the pollen burst is amazing. Super B uh, vitamin and other vitamin turbocharge, a bunch of minerals. It's just it's just it's awesome. There's a bunch of other products. Infowarsteam.com. What meaning to plug that? But the fella called in to uh, ask. So uh, you ask, you shall receive. More calls straight ahead. Okay, I want to run through a whole bunch of your phone calls. Then I want to get into the news here. More Americans than projected filed jobless claims last week. And now the Democratic Party is saying, vote for Obama, not so that you get a job. He already promised everybody jobs, free houses, free cars, milk and honey. But all he did was deliver tens of trillions of dollars to offshore banks. It's a crime syndicate. And Corzine's allowed to steal billions and not get in trouble. No, Obama... President Obama is now saying vote for him to have your jobless benefits extended. Yeah, and then bankrupt all the businesses. Go get a job somewhere for a month, quit, get unemployment for five years or whatever. And not like you can even live on that. It's 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 the new economy, exactly where the bankers want you because that brings the country deeper into debt. And big breaking news by Paul Joseph Watson, I'm gonna cover after I get to more of your calls in detail. Government secretly prepares to evacuate Chicago during NATO summit. Standby shelters readied for residents. A leaked directive issued by the Red Cross indicates that the federal government has prepared plans to evacuate Chicago during the NATO summit. Yeah, they use every event now as a little martial law federalization drill. And all over the world, G20 and NATO, they tell the country how to run the operation. So it's about globalism, it's about standardization. An email sent to Red Cross volunteers in Milwaukee area notes that NATO summit in May could create unrest or another national security incident. The American Red Cross in southeastern Wisconsin has been asked to place a number of shelters on standby in the event of an evacuation of Chicago, the email, which was leaked to CBS reads. Oh, what are the feds getting ready to blow something up so they can pose as savior? We're talking about that more. And police launch abusive midnight wake-up calls. Police in Richmond, Virginia have announced an initiative for officers on midnight sh shifts to knock on your door between 12 a.m. and 4 a.m. If they don't think your car's parked properly or whatever and demand you come talk to them. Just all part of the midnight visit. For Everyone needs to get a TSA group or a police officer visit. And I've seen other reports where if your door's not locked, the police will come in. In fact, that's not in the World Net Daily article. Well, you guys search that. I know I've seen it probably 50 times over the last few years. It's all federally standardized. Little cops are all feds. They don't even know it. You know, the police chiefs just tell them what to do with federal grants. Uh, police to enter homes if door unlocked, something like that. And, and it's all part of this. The crime's exploding, not because of the giant welfare state or 7 million in prison training everybody how to be a criminal or the fact that we're run by criminals. N no, uh, there's crime because you don't have your door locked, which again is an excuse for police to creep around your house at night and try to open your door and look in your window. Now they have this thing where they claim, oh, 911 call to your house. We're coming in without a warrant. Then they take your guns. I see that all the time. Uh, let's go ahead and go to Ryan in Alaska. Ryan, thank you for holding. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Hi, uh, you were talking about Operation uh, Mountain Guardian and the use of uh, the stadium in an emergency, and I'd, I'd like to speak to that. Yes, sir, go ahead. The first thing I would like to say is a, a quote from a film you were in, uh, Camp FEMA. Yes. A, an elderly Japanese man who was in a internment camp in America during World War II, he says, they didn't have the facilities to house 120,000 persons, so they took over racetracks, fairgrounds, places like that. And uh, we didn't have football stadiums and NBA stadiums and major baseball fields like we do now back then. And no, they admit that that's what the sports stadiums are for. They admit in the Emergency Centers Act uh, and all these other acts, the Civilian Inmate Labor Camp Program, that they're training to lock up several million political dissidents and, of course, take your property. That's always the funnest part. And they're hiring lots of little criminals who want to do it. 
And uh, the globalists don't care if those little criminals get killed trying to put us all in camps. That's all part of the fun because then the Russian troops can be brought in. That's right, mainstream news, Russian troops in America up at Infowars.com training to take on the American people. And more TSA have been caught, this time trying to ship in 10 pounds of cocaine. Go ahead, I'm sorry. I have a, a list of verifiable. Anyone can uh, go to Google and type in these country names next to Prison Camp Stadium, and it'll bring it up. It's all historical. I've got uh, 12 countries here that for sure have turned stadiums into prison camps. I'll, re I'll read it real quick. we got Chile, Germany, France, the U.S., Rwanda, India, Trinidad, Mexico, Japan, Libya, Syria, and Sarajevo. Sarajevo. And those yeah, well, sir, they stuff. always do. Afghanistan did. Uh, the Cuban communists did. I, I mean, hundreds, all of them do it. In the movie Red Dawn, because it's just well known, so in a fiction movie, they're held at the local football stadium, remember? And they've got all the movies playing and brainwashing and America and the Founding Fathers are pigs. Well, you don't need to be in a sports stadium now. You turn on the news and the Founding Fathers are pigs and the free market is a cesspit. We live in a giant re-education camp. We live in a giant re-education camp. I mean, they're telling parents, your children can't do chores, and we're going to take their DNA at school without your consent, and we're going to give them shots without your consent. All of it, lawless, scum, criminal government. I mean, again, you get around these government people, they think they're God. Do you understand the CPS, the biggest private contractors for CPS to take people's kids outside of real courts is DynCorp. DynCorp has been caught in congressional hearings and worldwide running giant child kidnapping rings. <laughs> I mean, this is who runs America, the, the most vile scum the planet could even comprehend. We are hijacked. I'm sorry, anything else on the sports stadiums? Just type in, FEMA does drill at sports stadium. FEMA practices putting people in sports stadium. I mean, it's all there. They say in the Emergency Centers Establishment Act, that they will take people to sports stadiums and then the, the really bad folks they want to really torture good, they fly out or bus out or diesel out. Look, look, we went last year to Denver. They practiced taking the elementary school kids to the Denver uh, stadium and the cops came over and said, don't film this. That wasn't even announced in the media. We have video of them all over the country. They're saying, we're going to take your kid during a disaster. You can't pick them up. Yeah, there's Darren McBreen at the Denver Broncos deal, Mile High Stadium, where they take the kids. I mean, this is America. This is not a joke. I'm sorry, sir, anything else? A FEMA press release released from 2007, just after Hurricane Katrina, they say, or they're talking about um, baseball fields that had been used as camps, and they're bragging about turning them back over to the community and how they fixed them all up afterwards. And a few real quick quotes from that is, the softball field was used as an emergency temporary housing site for nearly 40 families after Katrina. Next paragraph is, the Parks and Recreation Director receives regular help from Jerry Harper, a FEMA contractor monitor. And then later on it says, eight of the 12 closed parks that temporarily house more than 600 families. And that's just one example from a FEMA press release. And the, the countries I had mentioned earlier with the stadium camps in India, Mexico, and uh, Libya and Syria, those are just within the past two years that that's happening. Where well, you know, it's freedom to have your kids taken to the sports stadium, and they're just trying to keep us safe. I mean, anytime somebody sees somebody with a gun, they'll shut down a whole neighborhood now. It's all about stay in your homes, remain calm. They've got daytime curfews even for adults all over the country now. Just, just training you, just slowly easing you in. Oh, the Russians are trying to take you on. Oh, the government's buying armored mobile pillboxes. Oh, 450 million hollow point rounds. Oh, all these agencies are getting weapons. Oh, their Department of Education has created illegal SWAT teams and raids people for unpaid debts even though there's no law. They got guns, they're government. That's the law. Congress is like it's against the law to launch that war without approval. Shut up, Congress. Hey, you're building a giant NSA base. You got to talk to us about that. Shut up, Congress. Hey, you're secretly arresting people. You got to tell us about that. Shut up. The army is standing by. And if they won't do